about that time. I think we need to do a shuffle about of vehicles to uh, line this abbot up a bit better. Not this abbot, the other abbot. So that we can actually get to the other side. Someone uh, left it very close to one side of the workshop. I don't don't know that no, I had no idea. No Not idea. Amateurs. Amateurs, exactly. <laughs> There we have it. Drive's absolutely lovely, I've got to be honest. Very, very nice one indeed. Shame I had to drive it up the yard and get it all muddy, really, but it's a tank. Well, technically, it's not a tank, but it's a tank. Um, and that's what they're for. They're for getting muddy and for having a good old laugh in. We're uh, struggling a little bit for height, so Tom's having to hold it so we don't smash the top of the workshop off. What did you say about the hole up there, Mike? Nice little cushy hole. A lovely cushy hole. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> I found an instructions sheet on how to, uh, how to start them. All I've got to do now is learn how to read. Should have stayed in school, mate. Yeah, I'll just press buttons or something else. Makes a change from sticking crayons up your nose. And then you have to stop. <laughs> Is it the car or is it just you? I'm not sure about that bit, but it is my car. <laughs>
was almost a marathon. Fun starts. This is where the fun starts. Somehow, if he crashes, I get the blame. Not sure how that works. No, it's a room. Don't know what you're worried about. Yeah, easy. Look at that, I'm in neutral right now and Tom is literally pulling the deck and the load all. What an animal. Oh, he's dragging us the whole way. Well, it's looking like it's about that time. We're going to make some uh, space in the yard. These vehicles are actually leaving. We'll just do the fun little one so Oh, get some glue on that. Oh, I love the smell of the glue. Um, yeah, get a bit of glue on that. We're just doing a little final check over because they've been sat for a little while now. But to be fair, so far, so good. And there, we've we'll run through them one by one. See if I can back this up and attend it. What can go wrong? They are beginning to stack up very, very well. A few more down there that have just gone flat where they've been sat for a little while. Um, give, give them a jump start. Making leeway, there's plenty more down the other side of the yard as well. To be fair, all of them are started up because we use them quite a lot for, for slaving stuff in the yard. So they're regularly getting started up and driven. And it just keeps them all a lot fresher. See, this is why you need a slave lead. I'm attempting to do it with a jump back. But it's going to be very, very hard especially with one hand. We'll get back to you. Right, I've got a bit of fiddly work later, and uh, it has started. And uh, straight away it comes on charging, so realistically these batteries should take a charge very quick. Um, leave it running for an hour or so. And it seems like in the morning. It starts straight up, it's a pretty good indicator. NATO batteries are usually pretty good batteries. We have to re-shim the gearbox on this one because the fan belt is uh, pulling at all sorts of funny angles. Um, I remember this one. I think it was quite a nice one. However, it was one that we brought in that had some uh, rather rude writing down the side. Yes. Won't go into that. Um, so, yeah, we're doing bits and bobs on it. But we'll, we'll start by... Uh, reshimming the gearbox so that the, the fan belt actually stays on properly that is, it always helps doesn't it and more importantly look what Tom found he said it would make my gear and boy was he right this is my long lost lever bar the last one for the set long lost I mean you can see it's been in the back of there for a while but it has returned home 